Okay, hello, uh, Tom with uh, the Outdoor Cook Store. Uh, thanks for uh, checking us out. Uh, appreciate it, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy. We're going to do some uh, Dutch oven cooking today. Um, Dutch oven chili and jalapeno cornbread. Uh, pretty good combination, one of my favorites. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with the chili, and I've got a 12-inch Dutch oven here, uh, and then I've got a 10-inch Dutch for my uh, cornbread. Uh, but uh, we'll start with the chili. It's going to take quite a bit longer. Um, what we need for chili is um, bottom heat only, and I need to brown some meat. I'm going to brown some bacon, then I'm going to brown some beef. So I've got about 25 coals under here warming up, uh, heating up. So I want to preheat this Dutch oven uh, for eh, 20 minutes or better. Make sure it gets good and hot, and then I can brown all that meat, and we'll get started. So uh, listen, in the meantime... Let me take you back inside. We'll show you all the ingredients I'm going to use for uh, for this chili, and uh, we'll move on from there. So we'll see. You okay. So for ingredients, um, I've got six slices of bacon, and then there is approximately three pounds of meat. I've got two pounds of beef cubed, uh, and then um, a pound of approximately a pound of pork. Now you could use any type of meat if you know you could if you want, you know sub, sub, substitute with um, ground beef if you want or if you have some venison be great here um, uh, duck or goose makes goose real good in chili too so but I prefer using a couple different types of types of meat so I've got beef like I said beef and pork now here I've got uh, three or two diced yellow onions. One diced bell pepper, and then three uh, cloves of garlic minced. And then there's a couple cups of beans, one cup of uh, kidney beans, one cup of pinto. I like to mix my beans. Uh, I was going to put in black beans, but I didn't have any here, so I've used uh, pinto. But I like to mix the beans as well. Uh, there you got in back, I've got one can of stewed tomatoes. And then a small can of Hunt's uh, tomato sauce. And then up front here, uh, I've got two, three cups of beef broth and three cups of water. And then here, I've got uh, two jalapeno peppers diced, seeded and diced. Now, remember, when you seed these things and you dice them, be sure and wash your hands with soap afterwards. Um, you know, you get the juice from the seeds and stuff in there. You touch your eye, you know, it's not fun. And here I've got uh, some different spices. Uh, there's um, uh, chili powder, cumin, crushed cumin seeds, salt, pepper. Um, what else? Uh, salt, pepper, cumin seed, and uh, chili powder. I think that's it. Anyway, what I'm going to do is we will brown, first we'll brown the um, the uh, uh, bacon in the Dutch oven. We'll take that out. We'll brown the meat in the Dutch oven, and we'll take that out. Then we're going to saute uh, the, the, the uh, um, onion and bell pepper, and then we'll add the meat and the the, uh, the meat and the bacon and the beans and, and all the other ingredients. And when we come down here to the spicy part, I'm going to add about half of those uh, jalapeno peppers and just a little bit of the, uh, um, little bit of my spices. And then a half hour, 45 minutes later, I'll taste it, see how I like it, and then, you know, I'll add those in as we go because, uh, you know, you don't want to overdo it with them. So anyway, we'll uh, get back outside and, uh, Get rolling. Okay, this has been preheating for a little bit. Oops. Now, I'm going to brown, start by browning the bacon. Or actually cooking my bacon. So it's pretty crisp. And so uh, we'll, set, we'll cook it, set it aside, uh, and then we'll just kind of chunk it up, yeah. crush it into small pieces, so we're going to cook this very thoroughly, so it's going to be crisp, um, that's going to 
all good. When I get done with this, I'll then put on my meat and I'll take this out. Uh, then I'll put my meat on, brown that, and then um, I will uh, saute the onions, uh, bell pepper, and garlic. We'll bring you back to that point. We'll show you that point. Then we're going to add all the other ingredients. So, uh, But I've got this started. Incidentally, during this preheating process, I always like to put on, I, I use a little pan. Uh, generally, I'll use uh, some kind of oil, vegetable oil, um, uh, olive oil. This time I use a little bit of Pam. I always like to put some oil in there for the preheating process. It's just another little seasoning process, continued seasoning process. So, always remember to do that. And uh, this bacon grease is uh, another good seasoning deal. So, your cast iron cookware is always continually seasoning. So, always remember that. Anyway, let me get this going. I'll brown the meat and we'll be back uh, when I get the uh, vegetables going. Okay, I've uh, cooked my bacon, browned my meat, it's in there, uh, and you know what, there's a lot of fat, and uh, I, I just browned the meat right in that bacon fat, and then there's, there's a whole lot of fat out of the meat, you know, two pounds or three pounds of meat, so I drain most of that off. I leave a little behind to saute my um, vegetables. So, here's my two uh, chopped yellow onions, my one chopped bell pepper, and my uh, three cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to put them in here, saute them for just a little while. Now you can, uh, a lot of folks say saute them until the onions turn translucent. Uh, other people like them. The more you cook them, the sweeter they're going to get. A lot of people like them to be caramelized uh, to where they're, you know, they're sweeter. I like a little crunch in my veggies, so I don't cook them that long. I don't even wait till they're translucent. I just saute them for a couple minutes. That's the way I like them. So I'm going to let those cook for just a just a couple minutes, and uh, I've got another set of coals going. Now remember, I started with 25. I just did like 21 this time, I'm, and it's going to be all bottom heat. Once I get this going, it just needs to simmer for a few hours. So I'm not going to need a full 25. I'm going to do 21, 23, depending on it's a windy day. So we'll just make sure it simmers. And uh, anyway, we'll be back in a couple when this is done, and uh, we're adding the rest of the ingredients. Okay. We've been cooking for a few minutes. Like I said, they're not quite translucent yet. I don't really like them to go that far. So. I'm not going to do it. You know, it's good to be the tuck. Um, now, I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I've got some coals here ready to put on here. And I'll put them on after I add these. I'm going to start with my stock. Three cups of stock, three cups of water. Now, I ran this through the microwave to heat it up. It's not boiling hot, but it's, it's, it's a little more lukewarm. You never want to put cold liquid into a hot cast iron Dutch oven pan anything. It'll, it can warp it and even crack it. So, I'm going to pour this in. Okay. And now all the rest of my ingredients. Here's all the meat. Including the bacon. Get all that good stuff in there. Beans. Get our beans in there. Make a mess. Two cups of beans. One cup red bean, red kidneys. One cup uh, pinto. And now we're going to put in our tomato, stewed tomato. One can of stewed tomatoes. One can, or one small can of tomato sauce. Okay. 
Okay. Now, here's my jalapeno. So I'm going to put about half of these in for now. We're going to see how they get. You never know jalapenos. You know, you may get a real hot one, and the next one may be not so spicy. So you want to be careful. Uh, I don't put too much in to begin with. It's going to take a couple hours, so I'll taste it along the way. Now I'm going to just put in some of my seasonings. And again, I'm not going to overdo it. If you put in too much, you can't take it out. But so you just add a little as you go. Okay, so now I'll stir that real good. Get all that good stuff together. And uh, we're going to let that simmer for quite a while. We'll be back in a little while to taste it and see how it goes. Uh, and then uh, I'll show you how we get those uh, that uh, jalapeno cornbread going as well. So. Wow, okay, this has been going for a while, my chili. Um, it's getting there. The, the meat still needs a little more time. The beans are getting close, but uh, there's a little left. <laughs> There's a lot of flavor there. Um, one thing that you can see it's still, I could just boil this water off. It's got a ways to go yet. i got another hour at least. It's been, how long has it been? It's been an hour and 45, I think. Uh, now, one thing I like to do, though, you can see how, it's, I want to thicken it up a little. And what I do, I just take some cornmeal, sprinkle it on. Just a little at a time. That's enough for now. Mix it in. Okay, hello. Uh, we're back. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start the uh, uh, cornbread. My jalapeno cornbread. So what I'm gonna do is I've got I've got my 10 inch uh, cast iron Dutch oven. Preheated. I've got six coals on the bottom. It called for six coals on the bottom, 15 on top. It's a bit windy today, so I added one more on top. So I got six coal on the bottom, 16 on top. So, well, hold on. Let me do it this way. Let me get my Dutch oven stand. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do, put a little butter in there. And we're going to just make sure and coat the bottom and the sides with that. You don't have to go too far up on the sides, but you want to get an inch. We're going to pour that in. Niblets, jalapeno, feet on the bottom, feet on the top. going to be good. This is some, this is a, an excellent, excellent uh, jalapeno cornbread recipe. I love this. I do this quite often. I love it. So, anyway, I've got that in. But time it'll take about 30 minutes. I don't have to worry about more coals. We got, to, you know, they take about 50 minutes. I preheated for about 15. Put the stuff in. Um, so this coals will burn. One set of coals does this does this uh, recipe, and uh, we'll check it at the end. All you do is put a. You can see the brown on top. Anyway, we'll we'll show it to you. And this is good. This is really good. So that's good. Man, that is good chili. Let me tell you something. Ton of flavor in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull that off, let it sit and let it cool. As I let my cornbread finish, and the cornbread needs another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So I'll show you that when that's done, 10 minutes, I think. So we'll show you that, then we'll show you the finished product all in one plate. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's take a taste of this. Man, this chili. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think there's some flavor here, folks. Mm. Mm. 
that's good. That's really freaking good chili. Cornbread? Anyway, listen, thanks for, uh, thanks for visiting us, thanks for watching us. And, uh, you know what? Throw some chili in your cast iron Dutch oven out back tonight. That's some good flavor, boy. That's some good flavor. Give me a shot. Thanks, and uh, join us again next time. We'll be looking for you.